Wine reviews are always one of the most exciting aspects of wine. And today we're going to review a particular wine called Evolve. The name of this particular bottle of wine is called Effervescence. And it comes from Penticton, which is located in the province of British Columbia, Western Canada. And it is um, part of the Time Winery Group. This is a sparkling wine, as the name suggests, Effervescence. I opened this uh, a few minutes ago and I wanted to examine the cork. So it's a sort of standard Coca-Cola uh, cap. And, uh, but what's unusual, you can see, it has the plastic um, inside there. I love the, the color because it goes well with the combination of the label. The label is, is, is very appealing. The bottle is uh, quite clear and bright. It's uh, 750 ml. It's 12.3% alcohol by volume, which to me automatically indicates that it should be off dry, maybe with a hint of sweetness. They don't tell you what the grapes are, but after my own research, I have found out that they use Chardonnay, uh, Pinot Blanc, and Pinot Gris. The, um, the interesting part of this is that they've made this uh, particular wine using the method Cuvée Clos, which is also known as the Marinetti method, also known as the Sharma method, and also known as Italian method. But we'll call it the Sharma method for purposes of this review. And Sharma method is the method that they use to make Prosecco in Italy. It has two to four percent atmospheric pressure, this particular style. So there's the base wine, they add yeast, they add sugar, they let it ferment a second time. The two to four percent atmospheric pressure in the stainless pressurized steel tank allows the bubbles to not be as aggressive as, let's say, the method Champenois for Champagne, which is between sort of five to seven. But because it's a Sharma method, you don't have to age it. And as a result, once the second fermentation is completed, you can bottle it, which is what they've done. So I'm expecting a very fresh and very fruity type of sparkling wine. So let me do exactly that. Lovely bubbles coming out, beautiful froth. And I'm seeing some delicate bubbles coming out. The color is indicating to me that this is a number of years old. It's not exactly the sort of uh, light pale, it's a little bit darker. And on the nose, I'm not going to swirl the glass because I, I want to keep the bubbles. I get some yeasty notes there, uh, some melon, but I don't get anything overwhelming from there. What's important is that I don't find any faults. No vinegar, no um, nail polish remover or wet cardboard as well. So let me try on the palette. Lovely froth, exciting, vibrant, open. Uh, finishes moderate to short and technically in the technical review appearance is good nose is quite simple straightforward and on the palette medium to short finish with some um, lemon and citric notes the second commercial value is how well do I think this will sell I think it will sell well it's very simple it's appealing um, the appearance is, is, is color coordinated and the third review is pairing. This will go with all types of seafood, lobster, crab, mussels. I think it'll go well with Asian food as well. And uh, my fourth review uh, category is maturing and aging. Will this mature or should it be aged for a longer period? I personally would try this uh, and hold it for no more than six to nine months from uh, the time that I'm drinking it now. The, the other aspect, meaning, meaning that one should buy this bottle sooner than later. And I want to end off a review with you that you are the best person to judge 
what is good for you. This is my opinion about this particular wine, but your palate, your style, and what you like could be different. Enjoy the wine when you get your bottle. Please comment, like, share, or subscribe to our videos. Thank you.